Here I have a Pentair Superflow variable speed pump operating at 1000 RPM. The system is currently running on two suction lines, an inch and a half and a two inch suction line. And then on the pressure side of this 150 square foot cartridge filter from Hayward, we have a two inch trunk line and feeding to a couple of flow meters there. So what I can see from 1000 RPM of operation is that we're achieving just under 30 gallons per minute of flow, which is actually quite a bit of flow. And that's the point of this video. I want to show you how much a little bit of flow can add up to be. So I also want to show you the cost of this flow. 130 watts, number in the top right corner, that's the power consumption that this, this pump is currently uh, consuming. So let's take a look at these numbers and see what we can learn from them. It's actually really interesting. So at 29 gallons per minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, that's f just under 42,000 gallons of water that you would be able to filter in one day. And so let's take a look at the power equation for that. 130 watts times 24 hours in the day is, you know, three, just over 3,100 watts. 3.1 kilowatts is what I calculated that. And a kilowatt hour is how you pay for your power. And the nationwide average is about 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So at 3.1 kilowatt hours times the national average, you're looking at 40 cents per day in order to, to pump over 41,000, almost 42,000 gallons of water through your filter. That's an incredible amount of flow for not all that much power consumption. Now it's important to remember that these numbers will be different for each and every swimming pool system. Every pool is unique, but this just gives you an idea of how beneficial something like a variable speed pool pump can be. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.